Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. And today we're with John Miano, who is the author and expert on armor of the Iowa class battleships. And we brought him down here because we wanted him to tell us about one of the most armored spaces on the Iowa class battleships. Right now you are looking at uh, the steering gear on the starboard side of the first platform deck or fourth deck deep inside the hall of USS New Jersey. Right, so on, on New Jersey, in the Iowa class battleships, the uh, steering gear is one of those highly protected areas, unlike Bismarck was, <laughs> to its detri detriment. Got him. See, behind us, this is the side armor where I'm ta talking about. This is 13.5 um, inches of class A armor, and it's sloped outwards, 11 degrees. Up to for, for greater, greater protection. Behind me is a transverse armor here. Um, this is 11.3 inches. They would expect to be, uh, le be less vulnerable from a sh uh, shot behind us. And above us, this we could say is the overhead for the first platform, or it's also the third deck, which is 6.2 inches of Class B armor. Uh, what's unusual? A little bit with all the Iowa class battleships in this area is that the armor is the deck itself. It doesn't rest upon the deck. This, this plate is all there is. Uh, one part of this armor is actually removable. Um, you know, I say removable by a yard with a lot of effort <laughs> clamping out bolts and bolts and rivets, but it is possible to remove part of this armor in order to get the um, get machinery in and out if it had to be repaired, repaired the steering. Now, one of the uh, unusual aspects of this is this, in this area, of class, we have class A armor, both here and here, being used structurally. You said that uh, it's kind of a common, common knowledge is incorrect. The class A armor that's face hardened on the outside cannot be used structurally. And even that, that claim even appears in some Navy, Navy manuals, but um, this is one of the examples that disproves it uh, because this, this forms a structural watertight bulkhead around the steering gear. You can see up at the top this thin curved um, plate that's, that's welded all the way around. That's to make this um, area watertight. Below us, um, this uh, we see a row, the, the double row of scallops. Uh, mm -hmm. There's a first row um, that was used to line the plate, line the armor up, and then a angled scallop was welded on top of it um, that actually secures the uh, armor to the deck. And over here in the corner, we again see the typical um, angle with scallops um, cut, cut into it. One little bit of unusual um, break in the pattern is that um, there's a row of triangular braces uh, that you see in the armor, uh, against the armor, and that's where the rudder post is. So that's reinforcing um, the mounting of the rudder because the area right below us here is very heavily built up. It's a giant, uh, giant weldment. Um, designed to um, keep the rudder um, structurally in place even in um, the event of an explosion nearby. Now on board the Iowa uh, class battleships, uh, there's four types of armor. Um, there's what's called Class A, Class B, Special Treatment Steel, and um, Cast Armor. In this area we see two types of the, of the armor. Um, the side here is Class A armor. Class A armor means that the armor has been treated to be face hardened. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean it's better, it just means that it's been face hardened. In the case of the Iowa class, it means that these have been face hardened by exposing the outer face to charcoal, and the carbon within the charcoal makes the outer face hard. Um, it also makes the outer face brittle. You can also create Class A armor uh, using various heat treatments, but that was not used by the U.S. Navy in this, this era. Above us, the overhead of the deck, this is the um, overhead for the first platform and the um, deck, the third, third deck, 
This is class B armor. That means that it's homogenous, that the hardness of the armor is the same throughout. So that's been a deep dive into the armor that surrounds one of the most critical parts of the ship, the steering gear, with the author of book Armor of the Iowa Class Battleships, John Miano. So if you were interested in the different armor schemes on Iowa Class Battleships, we've covered less than a chapter in today's talk. Feel free to pick up a copy of this book at the link in the description below to learn everything you need to to build your own Iowa class battleship. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate your support. There's a link in the description below if you'd like to continue donating to support the museum and our channel. Thanks for watching.